with all the broads. <sighs> Anyways, hi everyone, my name is Jack. Welcome back to An Arm Without a Broad. You catch me just in a different room, um, doing a bit of piano practice. Um, but today I'm just, I'm just sitting here kind of passing time. Um, it's about now, uh, two weeks until I make my way over to Germany. And yeah, things are really starting to motion. I have a lot of admin work that I'm doing at the moment, which is uh, not really the f most fun. There's a lot of paperwork that you need to do, surprisingly enough, when you're moving to a new country. Um, I plan to do a video in the future just explaining like every little thing that you need to do because it is really confusing and there's a lot of information that you need to digest. Thankfully, um, Hamburg, where I'm moving to, has a lot of information available to people who are moving to a new country or moving into the city itself, but I think it's better if there's a more simplified breakdown and that this is what you need at this time, at this time, at this time, because at the moment, what I'm going to do is sort out my housing confirmation. Now, thankfully, um, I have an apartment already sorted in Germany, which is a, a big step, thankfully. That's out of the way. But what I'm trying to do now is get my Wohnungsgeberbestätigungs form, which is a housing confirmation form, which is required in order to register with the city. So when you arrive in Hamburg, you've got to register with the city within two weeks. So you got to get this form. And you gotta go down and you gotta present that, okay, this is where I'm living, the landlord signs off on it, blah, blah, blah. So uh, they are required by law to give it to you. So um, I'm just sorting that at the moment. Uh, you gotta go register within two weeks and you gotta get the official, I say certificate of residence, we'll call it. And after that, then you gotta present that to the school where you're working so you can get your wages. It's it's such a long-winded process, but um, hopefully it, uh, it all works out. Um, it's just a lot of work, really. But yeah, a week, well, two weeks out, um, I'm still, I'm really excited to go. Um, it's been obviously a really tough year with COVID and there was a lot of uncertainty around whether I was going to be going or not, because, you know, I remember all the borders were shut back in April. Um, we had no information at all uh, regarding this and thankfully it all came through with the city I wanted and it's it's just really nice to know that I'm going to be at least going. I think it's the perfect time to go because I was about to go into my final year of media studies and uh, German, which is my course that I'm doing. And it just, imagine doing your final year and most of the lectures are going to be online only and... It just wouldn't have been the, the the right experience for final year. You just you couldn't do what you wanted to do, and now I've got this opportunity to go spend time in another country, working, teaching, uh, teaching kids how to speak English. Basically, well, they already know how to speak English. The Germans are fantastic at English. I'm just there as a kind of reference for a, an English speaker. But uh, I have a fantastic mentor in Germany as well. She, I'm going to be working with her there, um, and hopefully things go well but uh, two weeks out really excited um, I'm gonna be doing a video of what the hell I'm putting in my suitcase <laughs> because I've basically got to bring my whole life with me um, so I've got a brand new suitcase in there I never but first of all I never check bags ever <laughs> on flights uh, because if I'm going if I'm only going for a couple of days there's no point so this is this is whole new for me of, of checking a bag and I've got 20 kg to fit my whole entire life into it um because I'm flying right there which is great because I got the I got the flight for like 50 quid with all the check stuff in normally I'd only pay 15 quid for hand baggage only but there you go I've got to bring my whole life with me so yeah I'll be doing a video of, of like what I'm bringing all this kind of thing then obviously I'm gonna be filming the, the night before and the day I arrive and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also going to be spending. Uh, this is kind of the one a sad thing and a good thing at the same time. I'm turning 21 in October, um, and I'm going to be spending my birthday over there in Germany, which is uh, 
both sad because I don't see my family but also kind of new because I've never spent my birthday away from home but either way I wouldn't have been able to do anything here anyway because every, because uh, the pubs are still shut here surprisingly enough um, I think they're, they're actually opening the 21st of September now there's a new announcement recently but 21st of September which is the day I bloody go so, so I'm going to be gone the pubs are going to be open here but I mean there were, we couldn't really do anything really you couldn't host a big gathering or anything because stuff is still limited to six people per household here but It'll be something new. Um, I have one or two friends over there, so I'll be able to celebrate with them. But uh, big milestone 21, and I'll be over there celebrating it with uh, one or two people, which is absolutely fine. Um, but there you go. So it's a birthday abroad, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be interesting. But uh, yeah, video to come on me packing, which is something I've never done before. Uh, obviously, video coming on the night before and filming the day I arrive, and then. In the future, I'll come up with more stuff. Just let me know uh, what kind of stuff you want to know. If you'd like, I, I want this channel to be as helpful as possible to people who are moving abroad to Germany specifically uh, for paperwork, everything you need to know, the experience of living there, um, what you can do around the, the city of Hamburg, all this kind of stuff. And obviously, I've got I've got stuff planned to travel to other countries um, on trains and planes and stuff. Obviously, when that becomes safe enough to do, so you don't have to do any quarantine or any of that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it should be should be a lot of fun. So if you are new, subscribe, keep up to date. So I'm going to be posting as much as I possibly can uh, when I'm over there. I'm always going to be really busy when I'm working, but hopefully this will be a great experience. Uh, so two weeks to go, really excited. More videos to come, so stick around. I've been Jack, this has been Anomenod Abroad, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>